Hey man, Salon Prince in the building, get ready. Sure, but hit that sure, but hit that sure, but. Salon Prince, Salon Prince in the building. That sure button, Salon Prince in the motherfucking building. Interview coming up. Hey man, it's the real underground. Y'all know how we do it. Every every Tuesday, man. Every Tuesday, I bring out some real exclusive shit. I brought y'all some real deal exclusive shit tonight, man. Y'all y'all might should go and donate to a real underground cash app or something, man. If y'all look, I brought y'all Poppy G with the battle rap joint June 12th. They got some exclusive battle rap coming up in Little Rock, and then uh, we got Slum Prince on this motherfucker, man. Five hundred thousand sold, not five hundred thousand streams. Now get that shit right. Five hundred thousand. Soul, gold artist, man. You don't meet too many gold selling artists. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Slum Prince, man. Let them know you're in the motherfucking building. Man, what up? What up? I love being in the crib, man. Hey, and, and when you say the crib, man, let them know what you mean by the crib, man. man. Look, all I'm gonna say, if you can't make it all sauce to toss, <laughs> then you can't make it no nowhere. Well. Speaking of sauce to toss, it's coming up next, man. Sauce or toss music review show. But Slum Prince, man, is one of the few artists that that's been oh. sauce so many times and been on so many uh uh salute to sauce mixtapes. Like we've been doing sauce to the toss for, for like five years. Or more. It's the crib. Man. You know what I'm saying? Son Prince was one of the niggas who was in here in the trenches with us in the early stages. Mac Lovin' too. Shout out Mac Lovin' here in here. He got tossed 52 weeks straight. So salute Matt Lovin, but Slum Prince was getting sauced a lot of weeks straight, man. There ain't too many niggas who got as many sauces as Slum Prince. Uh, it's only a few. You got Bosswood, Hurt Town, Sun One K, Goonie Shakur. It's only a few. I am CJ, <clears throat> but man, look here, man. Slum Prince, dog. Tell me this, man. How does it feel to be a gold? How has your life changed being a gold record selling uh, 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 artist? Man, I, I don't really be. <coughs> I'm the type of nigga that ain't really big in all that uh all them plaques and shit. I don't I gave that plaque to my mama. Uh I ain't really you know what I mean, I don't I don't need no plaque to validate who I am. So when it when this shit started going on, you put the song out, did you think it was gonna do what it did? It was an organic situation. You know what I mean? Like 
I knew it was a good record, like all the music that I make, all of them good records, you know what I mean? But this just touched home with a lot of people, you yeah. know what I mean? So shit, I knew it was going to do something, but I didn't know it was going to do all of and, and so like, you put that motherfucker out, like how how many days was it out before you was like, this shit is kind of going viral? First hour. First hour. The first hour, I went, as soon as I dropped that bit, it went, <laughs> it went crazy. I said, hey, huh, we need, baby, we need to start packing up. This the one. You know what I mean? When they uh, bitch hit like a hundred thousand an hour and shit, oh yeah, I already knew what was going on. So, I started preparing. So I, I went right in the studio, started dropping some more shit. Some more shit, you're getting ready for the yeah. next one, huh? Hey, so so let's let's back up a little bit, man. Tell the folks where you uh where you from. Man, I'm straight out of Jones Brand this bitch. See the height bound. Man, I'm from the motherfucking I don't call myself slum print for no reason. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm yo, we I, we ain't had no noodles. <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? Like we was buying food and all that stuff, shit. And uh, man, yo, I'm straight out of yo. JB, Northeast North Arkansas. Yeah. You feel me? So all what? Right. What kind of what kind of um re re reaction or, or reception Jonesboro and feedback Jonesboro been giving you uh as compared to out of, out of state? Oh, uh, I mean, you know how it is uh, when you you know. When you blow up and your city don't really fuck with you, they fuck with you. Yeah. But I, I, all the, I got all the real ones fucking with me. You know what I mean? Like I can go to John and, and you know, shit. I can relax, chill out, and all that so shit. So I don't really be expecting to be like, you know, go to the gas station, motherfucker, going to take pictures and shit like I am out of state. So motherfucker be like, you be, you be out of state, motherfucker be recognizing you like, oh yeah, yeah, um. Uh, more than more than I thought, I I had to realize who the fuck I was. You know what I mean? When I when I went over, you know, it's motherfuckers that just they pulled up at my motherfucking uh, hotel in Charlotte. You yeah. know what I mean? Just take pictures and shit. Just take Atlanta, pictures. going through the Atlanta airport, man. It's just you know, it's, and then they they yell out slum, and I I'm already on guard mode, bitch. Who won't smoke? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, but it be a, it be a be a good situation. I ain't never had no problems though. Hey man, Salon Prince in the motherfucking building. Uh, he got the song out, the GD4 anthem. Everybody do me a favor who on live right now. Everybody hit the share button, man. Hit the share button. Real niggas hit the share button. Uh, if you ain't got A's, hit the share button. If you got more than uh, ten dollars in your pocket, hit the share <laughs> yeah. button, man. Hey, hey man, it. Could, man. If your mama, if your mama don't suck dick, man, hit the share <laughs> button, man. If, if, yeah, man, it's going down. Shout out to Quentin Dean up there in Indianapolis. Ace Town Howell down there in Wild. Put in the comments what city you in what, or where you at right now. Uh, we got Slum Prince, this motherfucker. Sauce of the Toss that's coming up next, man. Uh, so, so since the song dropped, the GD4 anthem, what's like your biggest accomplishment or biggest thing, shit that's not happening to you since it dropped? Like you say you're doing shows, different cities, this and that. Man, uh, shows really don't. All these shows and getting on the road and shit, it's the people that I talk to. Yeah. Like when uh when 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 like Jay Prince called me and give me give me some you know feedback Larry Hood Jr. and uh shit bigger ranking uh they they they, they hitting you up yeah uh the scrappy what they talking uh, about I mean just you know just filling me out see, trying to see who I am and then when I go to politics and we be on the phone for like two three hours yeah you know what I mean because it's just that organic situation like Jay that, Prince Jr. who else you say. Jay Prince Jr., Jay Prince, uh, everybody. Bigger ranking. Like, yeah, bigger ranking. Uh, Rich the Kid, uh, Scrap, Duke Deuce. Uh, man, everybody been reaching out, man. It's just, they, they calling my phone and they just want to know who the fuck I am. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, Cause I ain't moving like these other niggas. They trying to figure out. Well, so, so do they be do that? Do do anybody ever call to try to validate who this nigga right here with this GD folk song? We need a motherfucking run a background check type shit. Do they be See, trying uh, to check you like type shit? No, nah, not really because that ain't that ain't the type of system we got. I mean, if you, I mean, if you in my position and uh, you moving like I'm moving, motherfuckers already know what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I don't really have no no you know nobody call and be like who the fuck t- checking me and shit because it's, it's it's a respect thing I don't be out here acting like these other niggas so motherfuckers know how to approach me yeah. you know what I mean when they talking to me when they reached out they was just like hey I'm trying to figure out who you was and then we get a 
politicking and I mean shit. You tell them from Arkansas, they be like Arkansas. What the fuck? Nah, actually, a lot of people know what Arkansas is. I mean, I know they know where they but they do they expect oh, the well, GD see, anthem oh, to come from Arkansas. That say that, only people that say that is the motherfucker from Arkansas. They be like, man, I didn't even know you was from here. I'm like, yo, I'm right up the street, right around the corner. Man. Yeah, yo, you just, I'm just, you know. Shit, I don't really be out there like that. All this social media and all that so shit. Because we really in the trenches. We don't, I, where I'm from, we don't get on, yeah, we don't do all that. Hey, so you saying, I, I, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't got reached out by all these different people, do do dudes, and the remix. Who can we expect? A lot of GD artists uh, uh, out there right now. You got. I think like Fujiano, I, uh, I can't remember. It's a lot of them. You got Big Foes, Fujiano, Duke Deuce, uh, Scrap. Who can uh, we expect on this remix? Is it in play or are you just up in the air? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in play. Uh, matter of fact, we shoot the video. Uh, so May, it's May done. May the 30th, we shoot the video. The remix is done. The, yeah, yeah, it's done. Can, you ain't Hell no. We can't get no exclusive. Hell no. <laughs> right here on the real underground. You try to get me. Say the first two letters you, of their name. You, you try to put paperwork on me. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, man. Look here, man. Is it one person on it? Two people? Uh huh. Is it like just one person it's on one it? Per- it was two people. Now it's one person. Petty Kruger, what up, man? Sauce of the Towers coming up next. You said it was two? Yeah, yeah. It was two. <laughs> but now it's just but, one. Why is now just one? Uh, cause you know I had Duke Deuce and Fuji I don't know, uh, but just told us who owned it. I mean that ain't no secret though. Ah, I thought that's what I was asking. I'm like, oh uh, no, I thought you were talking about you want this, you want to play to spin the record, goddamn. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hey, that hey, too uh, though. You want to say, it's also the song. It's on the contract. <laughs> man, oh, man, you don't forget where you came from already, hey, Sloan. Uh, <laughs> you know how this business is. You know what I mean? Hey, so you we, said everything is system. So you, know you said Fujiano on there. Fujiano, it was it was supposed to be me, Fujiano, and uh, Duke Deuce, but Fujiano when he got into that legal uh, situation, he got into a situation, so we gonna have to spin the block and pick him back up. But so now Duke Deuce is on yeah, the show. Yeah, me and Duke Deuce, hey, and we man, talking about that's, that's uh, pretty big, man. We gonna we going uh we we thinking about big folks. Uh, I seen I've been seeing that name pop up a lot. Uh, the big folks. Uh, he from Memphis, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been seeing it pop up a lot. Hey man, when can it when the, when the remix dropping? The remix dropping. Uh, I don't. We sh- all I know right now, we shooting a video on uh May uh May the thirtieth. May the thirtieth. Where y'all shooting it? Uh, Atlanta. You said that's your birthday. No, my G day. Oh G day. <laughs> I'm gonna ask y'all. Yeah, don't, yo, don't go. Yeah, Yo, you I'm gotta cho- choose the word lightly. Man. <laughs> choose the word hey, lightly, man. Look here, man. Look here. <laughs> nah, yeah, we you know we in Atlanta with it. Hey, uh, ATL May thirty video shoot. Yeah, Any, anybody pull up or just it's a Man, circle? Man, we got all set in that bitch. We got Dime Crime. Uh, all set in 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 the in in the mix. Yeah, we got uh, we got uh, scrap. So who who, who who like is is like did you orchestrate this video in the remix or like the powers that be? Nah, I, shit. I, <laughs> I like how you worded it though. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, nah, it's it's all me. You know what I mean? Like I I got people. Like if I if I want me, it would be like that. But people trust my decisions. Yeah. In, in my uh, my position, so yeah, uh, it, it's a respect thing. They know what I, I know what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that boy, we start. Hey, hey, check this out, man. When you go to the uh. Do you get any, any 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 trouble like when you go to other city? Like say you go, have you been to Chicago? Yeah, I've been to Chicago. So you know they got a big GD versus BD thing there. I've been in the uh, in the STL. So uh, do do you feel like when you go there and you got this song that's the anthem for this particular set of people? Do you feel like or do you feel any any tension or do you get any kind of? Man, I move like Chicago. I move through Chicago like El Capone. I don't. Uh, if you can, if you, if I get touched in, in any city, it, you, you know, it's an inside job or something <laughs> like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like when I go to the land, it's automatically, you know, the motherfucker get on their toes and shit. It's, yeah. it's just that that respect thing. So. And I, I politic with some real guys down there, you know what I mean? So a motherfucker ain't even gonna know I'm there anyway. Yeah. Cause I, you know, I move on bidding. Like if I'm going, if I'm going somewhere, I'm, I'm going for bidding. 
Hey man, what 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 upcoming shows you got coming up next? Man, I'm like twelve shows booked in right now. Uh, I got Blav on uh, May the 29th. Uh, May the second, I'm in uh, Texas, Colleen, Texas. Third, I'm in uh, Hoxonville, Kentucky. Uh, God damn, I don't even. I hey, even y'all go up. follow him on Man, Instagram. I'm, I booked up to uh, October though. I got his Instagram on the screen right now. So, you know what I'm saying? When y'all get out the show, go follow him on Instagram. Go to YouTube. Type in Slum Prince, spelled with two M's. Check out the GD4 anthem. But he got a lot of much. That song right there, it, just, it, ain't, it ain't his best song. You know what I'm saying? It's his most popular and biggest song. So I got some, a lot of dope music, bro. Like I, got, like I said, bro, he got sauced a lot of times on Sauce of the Tossy. And if you get sauced on Sauce of the Tossy, bro, you can make it anywhere, man. It's one of the hardest review shows to make it on on the fucking internet. And, and bro been sauced a lot. So, and just last week, uh, we fought last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you just sent some more music. So, he so still be fucking with us. Man, man, I love it here. Like, I come to the crib, man. I kick back. You know, y'all treat me like family and shit. I drink, talk shit, be somebody else. And, uh, Shoot it people. Be, it, it, be, <laughs> it, be, it, be, it be organic up here. You know, I, I go in the studio, record, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? I, it's the crib. You know what I mean? I started right here. Like on Salsa Tossy. My first song I sent up here got tossed like a motherfucker. I said, this is the last motherfucking time they I got mad. And that's what niggas should do. Get mad and be like, man, fuck them. I'm finna go back to the drawing board. And, and ever since, nigga, he was, he was mad. And I've been sending music up here for years. So, I got shit for days up in this. And you be recording and making beats. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Hell yeah. Everybody I, I didn't know he made beats really like a month ago. I knew, but I didn't know. Man, I everything. I don't. I don't really go to. I don't really go to no studio like that though. Cause I already know. You know, it's more comfortable. Where I, you know, where I'm at. You wake so, up and record in your drawers. You know what I mean? Me? Like shit. I be sometimes. I be forgetting to eat, sleep. Cause I be in that motherfucker so long. I just be in the boat and just dropping. And when I, I don't write shit down. So I just be if Punch I hear head. a beat, I just boom, 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 and I be had like four, five songs done. And then realize, damn, I'm hungrier than a motherfucker. <laughs> mm. So when the when the when the next uh, the video coming up? When the you got some projects? How many projects you got out right now? I got seven. Seven projects out yeah. right now on, on streaming platforms. Yeah. When the next one? Uh, you just focus on singles. The next one uh, is dropping on July the 26th. It's called I'm Pressure. And uh, that motherfucker, like I. I ain't even I ain't even gonna play no games on that bit. Like it, I'm gonna let it all out on the table. You know hey, I mean? cause this my last mixtape. I'm gonna drop before my album, and I'm gonna just go ahead and you know I been I held a lot of shit back throughout these years, and it's just my venting uh, mixtape. So it's really gonna it's gonna it's gonna piss a lot of people off, but it's gonna. A lot of people gonna be satisfied with fuck I'm saying and understand that shit. So it, can we expect uh is Slum Prince gonna sign a record deal anytime in the near future? Man, I got like four record deals on the table right now. So what what I mean, what how do you how do you decide what you looking at like is what I'm, what's making all, you not fuck with this one or do fuck with that one? I mean shit. First of all, they coming to me. I ain't going to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I they already know I know my worth. And uh, like I I know what I'm talking about. I, when I when I talk to these people, I I just be talking my shit, and they I just set my tone. Like you ain't gonna be playing with me. I ain't gonna sign no. Yeah, I ain't, yeah. You ain't gonna fuck me. You no told Jay Prince that nigga told Jay Prince. Look here, Jay. First of all, Jay Prince came in like a big brother. You know what, <laughs> what I mean? Like he came in. Cause I'm pretty sure he probably want um that that offer some shit, man. You I know mean, what I'm yeah. Saying? I mean, shit. We gotta we about to we about to handle this situation in a minute. Huh. Uh, shit. Matter of fact, we had a, a building meeting uh, yesterday yeah. over the phone. Uh, I'm about to fly down there in a minute. Uh, but he the type of person that want to figure you out before, you know, and he put you in the situation. See where your head at. Yeah, yeah. He want to see what type of and shit. I was just, you know, let him know what was up and shit. He we figured out the, the best situation. So. I'm going to lock that bitch in. Hey, man, I'm proud of this nigga, man. I'm proud of this nigga beside him. Poppy G, man, these niggas doing big shit. 
for Arkansas, you know what I'm saying? Arkansas finally motherfucking shout out to Bankroll Freddy. You know what I'm saying? Arkansas finally getting the exposure that it needed. The shit niggas been pushing for for years, man. Everybody out here working, everybody out here putting out good music. I still wish a lot of y'all to get on y'all business shit. You feel what I'm saying? That 90% of y'all still lacking in that area. Y'all doing good as fuck in the studio. Y'all doing good as fuck, you know what I'm saying, making the music. <laughs> you niggas done mastered that shit. <laughs> Swear to God, man. Look up, man. Y'all y'all promotion, y'all, y'all doing pretty good with that shit, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? There's a couple little spaces we lacking that as Arkansas, man. Uh Slum Prince in the building. He done sold five hundred thousand. Not stream, sold five hundred thousand records. Right here from Arkansas, the GD4 anthem is out right now. All platform. Before we get up out of here, I'm gonna check out whatever song he want me to check out. You know what I'm saying? He don't just do GD4 anthem. He do music, music. You know what I'm saying? Right, let's hit him with some of that real shit like that vent or, or or something that you feel like you know what I'm saying they need to hear or, or your biggest song like like you had that drive the boat. You somebody did, did some niggas try to steal your song? Or do you feel like some niggas try to steal your song? Man, I'm I'm gonna I'm say it like this. That nigga said, uh oh. <laughs> I'm a, I mean, because I be having to choose my. Because I really be really want to be saying a lot of shit, but I really can't. You know what I mean? Oh, look, I two songs you had. You had Dry the Boat. I had Dry the Boat. I'm the first nigga that, that, that had Dry the Boat. That, that, yeah. Okay. I'm the first nigga that had. Uh, what was it? Just say that. Just say that, okay. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, money bad yo come out with a drop. But I'm one thing. But that ain't just the first time I seen it though. That's you know. I've been, I've been, I've been seeing, seeing a little. The same artists or different artists? Nah, it was different artists and shit. But but they all from the same place though. That's crazy. Oh man, them boys been right there. They known for that. (laughs) Like, but. But uh, but I'm the type of I'm the type of nigga. This shit been going on since Juice and Jay. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, the type, I'm the type of nigga. I don't I don't I don't really be giving a fuck because that ain't my own. I I get better. Yeah. I get better and better. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna put out another one. Yeah. Put out another one. I'm gonna put out another one. Yeah. And it, I mean shit and. Mm-hmm. It's just that type of situation. I ain't gonna say shit. But but your drive the boat song was was a, a pretty popular song. Yeah, uh, drive the boat was. And that was like what? It was maybe a push. year and a half, two yeah. years maybe. The it was it the the promotion and the push went right. So you know it ain't really do what it, it was supposed to do. But you know the that that situation calls for situations I'm in now. Everything is a learning situation True For me I'm the type of person uh, Shit I know the streets I know everything about this shit I, I don't know the music band though And I like to challenge myself on shit that I don't know Hey man Slum Prince in the motherfucking building uh, You know um, You know what I'm saying They put my Chico Joe Head on, man. It's in the news. You know what I'm saying? So I was watching Facebook when I was scrolling down, you know what I'm saying? And I seen a Facebook live and Slum Prince on there and he said, I just had to uh take a nigga out for trying to break in my house. And when I say take a nigga out, I mean take a nigga out this earth type shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really followed back up on it and seen what happened, but like can you talk about the incident, somebody trying to break in your house, and what transpired, and what's going on behind it. Uh, what can you tell us about this? The shit, you just told them. So somebody tried to break in your <laughs> house. You just told them everything they need to get down. No, I need you to tell me. So that you, was it. So so hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> let's just let's. See, I was just want them to confirm it. So nigga, cause the same night I'm in here, I seen it on Facebook. We doing sauce of the tossing, and then the nigga walked through the door. I was like. Nigga, didn't I just see you on Facebook say you just killed somebody for trying to break in your house? And now you up, bro? I was kind of had chills and shit on my body. I was like, man, so how, how what's going on right now behind it? Like, so did they, is it like, did they have to look into this shit or what? I mean, you know, it's it's an open and close. So it's open and close. Open and close case, really. I mean, shit, because I got, you know, I got cameras and shit outside my shit. So I don't really. I, everything if I if I my next move ain't I think about every move I make. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't really that's why I don't really be uh I don't really be be moving like these niggas. Like I know what I'ma do. Uh I was prepared for the situation anyway. Before it happened. Yeah, yeah. So like you I was, like I I am I'm, I'm ready for a nigga try to yeah, come I, to my I, house and do something. I'm the type of nigga that, that get 
get prepared. You know what I mean? So do you think I if expect, you prepare for something to happen? I expect niggas to be niggas, and I expect bitches to bitch. Did you know the person? Nah, I didn't know. Were they, was they from the hood, from the neighborhood, where you live? They were just some stranger. Was the, the nigga was like on a robbing spree? The nigga like stole a car and, and, and hit a baby, hit somebody baby mama up, and then she he, he, <laughs> he came ended up in my backyard. I mean, shit. So just you went at home? Was you at home? You went at home, right? Yeah, I was drunk. I'm talking about when it, when it, it was you was there from the from the get go. Oh no, no, I had pulled up and I just had a feeling that he was still back there. I just had a feeling like uh, I went the back way from my house because it's only two ways in and, and to get to my house. So I went to the back way and see him. I said, that nigga stood up. You just like, this nigga still here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he knew like your old lady was in the house. Now, was it like lights know. on in there? He, yeah, the lights was on. He didn't know nobody was in there or he felt, uh, uh, did it look like somebody was at home? Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit. I had, I, you know, I keep a car in my driveway. So this nigga, even though he looked like somebody at home, he's still trying to break. I me. kept a, I, uh, my car was in the driveway, my laptop, it was all type of shit in the car, and the door was unlocked. So if you was at home, he just came in a home invasion type shit. Yeah, it was like, uh, I mean, shit. You, you, you on my property? You stand your ground. It's all right. It's, it's over. Day so, so right. after said it done. What like a while ago, uh, Ice Man, um, buddy was in the room and he was like, he he said some words. He said a while ago, he said, "Nigga, I've been trying to get one of them all my life." And they like, I've been trying to release. Her. He said he he said like it feels good to uh kill a person, <laughs> like like you know what I'm saying. I look the Ice Man. I'm about to look when he come back. I'm gonna tell him, bro. I'm looking at you kind of different right now. I don't give a fuck if a nigga. I, like when you came in here at night, I you should came in smoking a cigarette. Like <sighs> that nigga came in like play my shit, nigga. <laughs> New shit just dropped. Like like how does it does it make you feel? How you thought about it since? Like does it does it bother you? Or you like nah, or does it be like nah? That nigga try to break in my house. Fuck that nigga. My motherfucking mixtape dropped. <laughs> Too loud at twenty six. Shake back, baby. I don't know nothing about none of that other shit. But my album dropped, my, my mixtape dropped. Oh, and I got an album coming out after that called Melrose. Melrose was my hood that I grew up in. Killers moving silence, man. And, and that's the whole thing about that. Like, the the, the mixtape called I'm Pressure. I'm Pressure. God, On the way. Everybody. On the way. Yo. Hey, man, we finna, what song you want me to play, Sloan? Man, you got that old shit, Pray For Me. It's on, it's on YouTube? I was in the email. Man, you got all my shit up I thought it was in Sauce of the Thousand. Man, you uh, uh, pray for see. me. Uh, Vent. I be deleting that, that shit last every one week. I you. Uh, I got the real nigga Vent. Is that yeah, it? that's the last one I said. We're going to play the real nigga Vent, <laughs> man. We're going to have to turn that bitch up because uh, I can't hear Her Town me. said uh, he owe you a feature, too. Yeah, they hit me. Her Town hit me up. Okay. He hit me up. He was. Uh, Cause he heard this song, he said he was giving away free features to whoever was saucy that night, and so it was you and a couple more guys. Uh, so I I, I want to hear that, see what that sound like, what that come out. Uh, before I play the real nigga vent though, before I play the real nigga vent, and before we go to sauce or the toss, it was coming up after this. Uh, let me ask you this: uh, Is do you think Larry Hooper's ever gonna get out of jail? Of course. Uh, hey man. I just because, feel like they horn the man, man. Like, do you feel like if he get out that he still can, you know what I'm saying? Like, the young niggas out here is, is, is like, be on some shit like, I ain't listening to nobody. Do you feel like they holding him because they feel like that he may be able to put some structure behind some shit? Or, like, is it just they don't like the man? Or you really feel like he going to get out at any time? What, how many years he got? Like, what what was his sentence? He, what are you? Uh, is it life? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then he in jail, he get like what one hour? They don't get no hour. No hour, no visitation. Hell no, nah. bro. How long this been? How long it's been? That's been all like yeah, man. I mean, man, that's that's. But you know, he he he. The chief is he in the feds. You know what I mean? So still, yeah, I don't give a that, fuck. I, that if pressure, I'm in my house for twenty four hours, than, uh, when you in like state shit. Man, listen, man. Oh. Uh, all right, last question, last question. You know what I'm saying? I know I've been asking, you know what I'm saying, on on the ice questions tonight. You know what I'm saying? 
man. All right, this last question right here, man. This, 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 you know what I'm saying? Hell, hey, man, listen here, man. But before my last question, before my last question, let me ask you this. <laughs> hey, what what you think the problem with the Arkansas music scene is? Everybody, uh, what could be better? What could be better? Everybody think it's a crab in a bucket type situation when niggas ain't supposed to be in no motherfucking bucket. First of all. Everybody's scared to make their own motherfucking way and they think everybody got a rod off the neck nigga back and shit. If you got your if you got your shit going on over here, 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 you all motherfucking bosses. How can the fuck we lose? Yeah. Like, I mean, people they scared to get their shit going. And they think they gotta fuck with this motherfucker to get this shit going. When you figure out who the fuck you is. And get your own shit going, then we uh yeah. yeah. But I mean the music scene it's all right right now. It is. It's all right. But like it's some kinks to be worked out. Oh yeah. When motherfuckers figure out who the fuck they is, we you need to come out here and set your tone like a boss. Yeah. And stop I don't fucking with this nigga, so I'm gonna wait till he get me on. <laughs> That's some whole ass shit. Put nigga. yourself on, nigga. I mean shit, if you don't know how to do something, figure it out. Yeah. No, I mean shit. It's just that simple. Motherfuckers scared to make their own motherfucking way. Hey man, shout out to everybody in them comments, man. Uh, if y'all fucking with Slum, drop them fire emojis. Go watch Poppy G's interview. Uh, check this out. This is my last question, man. You probably can answer. Uh, Cello, uh, Ghost G, uh, aka My Struggle. Uh, anybody in the comments that's affiliated with the guys. <laughs> I don't like how you said it. Listen, for the longest, I be like, <laughs> you know, I be seeing niggas put these numbers up. I like, man, what the fuck these numbers mean, man? <laughs> I'm you, man. <laughs> I'm okay. It ain't your motherfucking birthday. Man, I mean, that nigga was birthday. old. That nigga old. That nigga birthday. Is that the nigga birthday? I like that. A month don't start with <laughs> it ain't your 33. motherfucking business. <laughs> if you know, you know, guys. I don't, I look here. I don't Google this shit. <laughs> Everything come up on Google. You know, this shit didn't even come up on Google. I said, man, this some, this some, this some bullshit, man. I'm a Sigma. Niggas out here, we got to work out Go Mob. Niggas be like, what Go Mob mean, man? Like, niggas be on our ass about this. And I done Googled this shit before, and the answer has came up. I done seen the answer. I said, I can't believe this is on the internet. I can't believe this. I looked up to what these motherfucking numbers mean. I done found all kind of growth and development history on the internet. And you know, because I done, I be on it. Like, nigga, I'm an honorary GD if y'all didn't know that. You know? <laughs> I hate this nigga, boy. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I'm an honorary GD. You feel what I'm saying? I can't make it through grad I, chapter. You play that motherfucker after two, three times going <laughs> home. You gonna be a GD in the boy. Hey, can can niggas sing along to the GD and the who they not GD? Do. <laughs> like I be having, and it's crazy because people would think, bro. You people would think when I go when I go out and do the show, and that uh, it's gonna be controversial and shit. Nah, you be having pyro, blood, fight. Hold on, hold on, back up. So you be <laughs> telling me a pyro in the crowd talking about GD folk? Yeah. <laughs> it's this that it's that type of energy. You know? I guess you're right because when Pyro Love came out back in the day, I guarantee you, Chris was singing that motherfucker. Pyro G said he was it for real. Yeah. So if the song is hard enough, it's just it's just a re- it's it's just like you can't you can't really you can't really like the not that that type of song. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's gonna it's gonna. Get you where you need to be in the club. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit, I I done had I done went over to Atlanta and it was uh, Vice Lords, and Crips, and Blood, and all this shit in the crowd singing the shit. Because first of all, I made a relationship with everybody in the club before I even got on stage. Do they shit. be your be no a, plan, or you just do that anyway? No, nah, that's just I be want to know who you know who out there. Shit, yeah. I don't even be like I. I'm a family orator ass nigga. Like, I like to have a good time. And if it's any smoke, I want to really be, you know, like, I don't want to get on stage and be like, I wonder if that crip nigga over there mad. Cause da, 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 da. No, yeah. I, get, I get out and my, se- my security be mad at me because I be going out in the crowd and shit, but I don't be giving a fuck. I go out I politic. I don't be going to no back. I go in the front. Get in there, get drinks, buy drinks, take pictures, all that shit. I vibe with the crowd, you know what I mean? Because I don't really believe that 
I ain't on no offset level, none of that shit where I gotta go through the back and shit like that and nah, all that extra shit. So I'ma yeah, I'ma take advantage of what I could do right now. Right now before it get there. Yeah. Before they be like, ah, oh, this nigga don't even want Nah, I'ma get out there and y'all gonna know my type of you know, what type of person so I am. When you first went out there and started performing that song, did was it ever in the back of your head you felt like I'm finna get it on stage talking about like, GD Fogan? It gonna be some motherfucking some some some, some other guys and I or, you, or do you feel like it gonna be enough of my guys here that I'm Man, straight? I, I would, yeah, like we got prepared for it. Like when you first you know, start, but like now you probably used I, to. We have been prepared for it before the song even motherfucking came out. We nobody gonna touch you. Yeah, we, yeah. We been prepared for them type of situations, so I can I dig. Really be, I don't really be tripping, and then shit. I don't give a fuck what you rap when you meet a solid nigga. It ain't gonna be none of that. I ain't yeah. never got into it with a solid nigga. Yeah, we all men before we whatever you is. You know what I'm saying? Shitty. Hey, uh, you got any shots out before we get out of here? Man, shout out to Papa G in this bitch. You hear me? He got me drunk. Hey, look at Papa G said he got me drunk. Me if if you fuck bitch. with Slum or Dennis the Menace, then you you gonna get drunk with them two I niggas. Am. I, I want I want to see you and Dennis in the room together, boy. Y'all probably y'all Dennis ain't other. fucking with me though. Man, y'all, y'all don't drink. know. I, I have seen you drink a thirty pack in here though. I drink, man. Look. <laughs> No, don't care. Oh, shit, I, don't I got it. kids. What the fuck you talking about? I drink. Yeah, I know. I don't smoke though. But you don't get like Dennis. When Dennis drank, he's belligerent. <laughs> Dennis be. He belligerent. You feel me? Man, I, you know I get I get fucked up. But I, if I get that fucked up, I'm gonna make sure I'm at the crib. Yeah. Hey man, uh, put your social media out there for him one more time. Man, everything Slum Prince, TikToks, Slum Prince, Facebook Slum Prince. That's what I'm gonna uh, ask you. It's not on TikTok. What the fuck them little kids be doing with them big ass clothes when they be doing the GD folks? Man, and that people child. be asking me like, I, I think it's funny. It you know is, I mean? but I like, did that? Who man? What do I got to do with? It? Like, I don't get man, it. Man, it was it, just, it was this one little girl on TikTok. I mean, on Instagram that made a, a a video. She had like her big brother clothes on and shit. But she was acting like went viral. So she was acting like she was a, a, a folk or something. Like like, like when they were gangster. Yeah, like she was she. She had tagged me in and then she got excited because I shared it because I thought it was funny. That, that was bitch, the first one? Yeah, and that bitch went viral. And, oh, man, you look, if you look on TikTok, man, and go to this damn song and look at the video related to it. Man, it's all kind of video, but it's something in particular. It's some little kids be doing a challenge <laughs> and they be having some big ass, like grown, like their mom and daddy clothes on, dancing and shit. I be like, man, what these little bad ass little motherfuckers doing? Talking about some GD folk, bro. <laughs> But this shit, I mean, just to get the kids involved without no negativity is is a uh, is a is motivation for me. So yeah, it ain't. I don't ever take nothing as disrespect unless it's disrespectful. You know what I mean? Yeah, like uh, so I'm just I'm just I I just get on there just look at the kids do their little thing because they be on there going all oh, boy dance like a motherfucker. I mean, shit, it's just it's just one of them situations like. You know, you I got I got a controversial ass song, but it's not controversial. Yeah, um, it's it, the world the world took it in and embraced it. I mean, it was, it ain't a, it ain't a set trip type song, right? You, feel like, you don't you don't you ain't never seen GD folks a uh, club or something that and somebody got to fight off. Of, yeah, like they would uh, fuck a nigga, uh, uh, yeah, some shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it is what it is. So I'm just I'm just. I'm glad that it's that type of type of vibe, like you know what I mean. So, hey man, look here in the comments. Um, uh, homegirl said, "Play that real nigga Vin." That's what we got pulled up. Uh, H Town House said, "Man, good music is good music." Uh, La Jedrick Crawford said, "I'm done." Hey, La Jedrick, he got a, a a free uh motion picture um uh CD cover or graphic that he giving away on Sauce of the Tossy tonight, man. So y'all tune in for that. Uh, Jason King, what up with it? Jaleesa Bryan, Quinn Dean up there in Indianapolis. Uh, Kenan Atkins, that boy K Crucial, he said PML. Uh, Joshua Cooper, what up? Uh, Dewan Hobson, putting the um, stars in the comments. Uh, Big Mac Pierce, uh, who else on this thing, man? Shout out to everybody who tapped in tonight, man. Make sure y'all hit that share button, run them numbers up. Sauce of the Talks is coming up next. Introduce this um, real nigga Vince, man. Man, this uh, Big Boss Slum Prince in the building. Real nigga vent in this bitch. I'm gonna get real, 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 real deep on this bitch. Real. What would you think when you wrote this song? 
nigga, I just be thinking about a lot of shit. I go through life walking, and I jot down little mental notes, and I go in the studio and jot them, you know. Because you used to send a song to, to Sauce of the Talks back in the day, a couple of songs. Like, you had that song, you had a letter to your, um, was it a letter, letter to your daddy? Yeah, a letter to my daddy. In heaven type, like, yeah. talking to him. Then you had another song, like, another hey, Wish Heaven of, had a phone. Wish Heaven had a, you know, this nigga got some motherfucking, some songs. Yeah. Not like no, no, they got some songs, bro. But this that real nigga vent, man. Y'all check him out. Slum motherfucking Prince. Sauce of the Tosser right after this song go out, man. Y'all get ready. It's going down the real underground. We in the motherfucking streets. Y'all hit that shirt button. Hit that shirt button. Hit I'm that shirt button. I'm going to get a club talk. I do coming in this motherfucker. A lot of people want to go like me. I know a lot of motherfuckers want to ask you to tell about me. But one thing they can't say about me is that I'm a fuck nigga. Damn, I finally woke up out that bad dream. Cause I was just down bad, me and the whole team. Posted up on deep block with a sack full of shit. Rock trying to set that rabbit foot like go shit. This type of shit take time though. I had to manifest this shit and get my grind on. I lost my sister and my brother, had my mind gone. Was they can spin a block to see me get my sign on. Now I feel like I'm the best ever. Not because I ran up on a gold record. I knew before I went to get that gold bells, I had to go right back to the hood and get that shit together. Stop comparing me to these other niggas. My people eat, your people starving, bitch. We cut different. I want the money, you want the fame, bitch. We stunt different. I got a wife, you got a hoe, bitch. We fuck different. And I don't drink to hide my demons. Every now and then I feel like my soul need cleansing. It take the press off and knowing people need me. These niggas hate me now, they did the same thing to me. Never trust a nigga with too many niggas If you get money, your nigga supposed to get it with you Everybody down until you go broke You wanna know what they really think about you Tell them no But time to change now, niggas cool with losing If you don't show no money, then they call you goofy Niggas sell their soul for them likes and them viewers They get the fans before the money, but you sound stupid Dolo got signed, he deserved that And niggas hating on like he ain't earned that You seen him working like I did, where your nerves at? Cause your situation gone bad Hey man, if y'all fucking with it, drop them fire emojis Maybe that's the reason you ain't in his position You gotta learn how to set your tone Walk up in that room, talk your shit and control your feelings But these niggas want that easy route They ain't making hits, they creating clout I guess that's what they think this music shit about They like, fuck the business, all I wanna do is rap Yeah like fuck the business, all I wanna do is rap. That type of shit ain't gonna keep you out. That's the type of shit keep you in the trap. Like fuck the business, all I wanna do is rap.